In 2013, the Smithsonian named it one of the 20 most iconic foods in America. Boys, what are we making? Cincinnati chili, bitches. Cincinnati chili. It's a thing. Look, we've become fans of doing this regional food stuff. And this is as regional as it gets. And it's a weird chili because it's not really like a bowl eating chili. It finds its real home on top of spaghetti with a shit ton of cheddar cheese. Also hot dogs too. We'll do both just so you can see them and I can eat them. But what makes it different is it has this sort of Mediterranean background note-ish-esque kind of thing. There's cinnamon and nutmeg and, and allspice. You would never, and chocolate. Who would put that in chili? We are. Goes together pretty quick. Takes a little bit to cook. Then we eat. Boys, let's head to the Evo. And we begin with some oil in our pan and some diced yellow onion. We're saving the rest to go on top. And this will take... Uh, this pan was certainly hot enough, wasn't it? So we'll give this three, four minutes to soften up. And then almost everything else goes in all at once. And when the onions start to have a little color, we give one more little sploosh of oil. Then we add our garlic. One nice clove. Wait for that to get fragrant. And then the adding begins. And that will look like this. A couple tablespoons of chili powder. I'm using chipotle chili powder because I like it a little spicier. About a tablespoon of regular everyday oregano. Here's the fun part. A couple teaspoons of cinnamon. About a teaspoon of allspice. Give that a little stir. Let those spices toast up a bit. The flavors really start to become something. Two cups of beef broth. Lovely. Wow, the smell when that hit. About an ounce of unsweetened dark chocolate. Hey buddy, you're gonna make this delicious. A couple tablespoons of tomato paste. About the same of apple cider vinegar. One, two. About a cup and a half of tomato sauce. A little brown sugar for sweetness. A little Worcestershire for tang. And we mix. Slowly, Sam, slowly. Slowly, Sam. Wow, the smells that are coming off this are really interesting. Really interesting. And even though it's got a significant amount of chili powder in this, this is not what you would think chili would normally smell like. So let this just do its thing for a couple minutes. And then we follow up with two pounds of ground beef, just regular every day, and we mix. And we mix well, breaking it all up as we go. It's pretty simple to put together. Once you've got it all broken up, we're gonna bring it to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we turn it down to a simmer. And we let it go uncovered for about uh, 35, 40 minutes. And you'll see that in a second. We're proud to announce a new sponsor to Sam the Cooking Guy YouTube channel, and it is Bespoke Post. Check this out. Okay, it's a monthly box. It's $45, but inside is at least $75 worth of retail greatness. Let me show you a couple examples of what you can get, and you are gonna be so jazzed by this. All right, the first box is called Aged, and here's what's inside. So Aged is essentially a cocktail aging kit. It's so cool. Here's what you do. You take an unaged liquor. The alcohol goes in here. You take one of these staves, and this is made from charred honeycomb. In it goes, the alcohol's in, the lid goes on, the cork goes on, and eight to 10 days, you have transformed the alcohol that's in here into a beautiful, smoky, gorgeous, brand new thing. And of course, you've got these amazing glasses that are never gonna tip over. No matter how tippy you get, these guys aren't going anywhere. And this guy's called the Weekender because what you get is plastic. No kidding, I love this one. You get, oh, check this out. The Weekender's made out of heavy-duty cotton canvas. There's metal hardware, it has a reinforced frame, thick leather handles, removable strap. If you want to carry it like this, you can, over the shoulder. There's an inside pocket that literally could hold your laptop right here. This is perfect. You go in some place for a couple of days overnight, this is your best friend. All right, so how does this work? It's $45 a month. You get an amazingly cool box. But what if you don't like the box? 
no problem, swap it for something else. You wanna skip a month, skip a month. They're very nice people, they really are. And look at the kind of stuff that you can get. There's outdoor gear, there's barware, there's home and kitchen stuff, there's clothing. You fill out a preference quiz, they send things based on what your answers are. So, all you have to do, click the link below, you'll get 20% off your first box by using my code SAM20. That's 20% off your first box, SAM20. And then you could be carrying around cool stuff like this, aging your cocktails, having the best fun ever. 45 bucks a month. How could they possibly make money? And after about 45 minutes, this is what we have. And you remember it was really liquidy before. Well, this is not a wet chili. This is essentially a dry chili, if, if we can call it chili, with chocolate and cinnamon and allspice. But we should try this. And I have three spoons for all of us. One. Two. Max, you eat chili, right? Hell yeah. Okay. One for you, Chancey. Thank you. On the count of four. I said on the count of four. Nobody ever uses four. I feel bad for the number four. It gets no love. Three gets all the love. And two and one. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. If I had that blindfolded, I would never have said it was chili. Cinnamon, chocolate, the allspice, all those, those warm spices. A little ridiculous. bit of heat. Wow, it's good, huh? Dang. Boys, Max? Unbelievable. Okay. But the way to eat it is this. Spaghetti and a dog, and they go down like... So we begin with spaghetti. Craziest thing ever. Craziest thing ever. And now, our gorgeous chili. Look at the color. It's just so deep and rich. Because that's just what you get from the spices, but also from it just taking its time in the pan, you know? So here's the deal, I'm trying to make this nice for Max. It's always about Max's picture. Okay, next up are our onions. Like this. Sorry, I know exactly how I want this to be, so I'm working very hard to make sure it stays the way I want it to be. You okay with that? Yes. And last but not least is the last thing you'd think about putting on spaghetti is a lot of cheddar cheese. And I'm being way more dainty than I need to. Way more. Max has just requested more cheese. More on that side. Less, make it less as you go so it's a little bit more even. Yep, just uh, perfect. Perfect, that's perfect, it's perfect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, do you want more onions in there? I could place a couple. No, don't f it up, if you f it up, man, you're dead. Oh, that's too much, you can't see any of the meat know, give there. Me the tweezers. Oh, they're in the drawer, you get the, no, nope. he did it, he gets them. All right, so this is obviously, wait for the 1942 biplane. The guy's got leather goggles on and a scarf. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so obviously this is pretty freaking majestic and amazing and we're gonna have a bite, but, but wait for this because the hot dog is the other way to go. So you got yourself a nicely crisped up bun because that's what you have to have. And you got a big quarter pound kosher dog. By the way, it's a beast. these little lines in here, you just do with your knife and then when you cook it on the flat top, they open up and they get better looking. And now our chili, or whatever it's called. I suppose it's called chili. Oh God, this is just. Not a big enough bun. No. It's okay. We'll come back down here again. All right, now don't forget, onions are next. Like that. And then the cheese, like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You want to see that sideways, Maxie? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at this! This is ridiculous. All right, it's bite time because really, we know how good the chili by itself is, but this is the real test, I think. Here we go. Dog first, I think. Okay, so this is, this is just... 
This is just insane. It's all I'm going to say. Look at what's facing me. That. <laughs> it's all about that chili. I love a chili dog, and this is not like any chili dog I've ever had. And now this. Oh my God, this weighs so much. I don't even know how to, I just got to go here at the end, right? You wouldn't expect me to. Maybe a little more chili on here. There we go. Now that's what we're talking about. Do you want some cheddar cheese on your spaghetti? Uh, no? Nice. Outstanding. That you gotta do. F the dog. The dog on a scale of one to 10. On a scale of one to 10, that's a 12. I'm not kidding. The dog is about a three. Not because it's bad, but because this is so good. Never in a million years would I have thought this combination would have worked out. And by the way, I find myself saying that a lot lately. I am being constantly surprised by how good these regional dishes are. We've done a lot. All right, thanks for hanging, being here, subscribing, liking, you know, all that. Telling your friends. Telling your friends, that's a good one. Have you told any friends this week, Max? Yeah, no, he hasn't. Constantly. He's no, he says constantly. Well, he hasn't. I get a touch. How about you, Chance? All of my friends. <laughs> all right, everybody. From all of us to all of you, happy Cincinnati spaghetti chili day, whatever.